Hi everyone. Welcome to Ammo Simple Max in this new academic year. I am Amudavalli your Max teacher. In today's session, let me brief you the concept map or the mind map of probability chapter 15 of your NCERT Max textbook. Through this mind map, first let us recall the term probability. In our daily life, we say that there is a probability that something will happen when it is likely to happen we often use phrases such as there is a probability that it will be a hard day tomorrow there is a probability for getting rain today there is a probability that she may be right etc these all are the events or situations about which we have an element of uncertainty in our mind that means whether that event may happen or may not happen i hope you have understood this so to measure the amount of certainty or uncertainty that means whether it may happen or may not happen so that's what uh, i meant that is amount of certainty or uncertainty in order to measure this amount of certainty or uncertain uncertainty mathematically we have the theory of probability you all know there are two types of probability so the probability theory as number one experimental or empirical probability and the second one is theoretical probability okay what is meant by em empirical probability or experimental prob probability this uh, experimental probability means what actually happens in an experiment what actually happens in an experiment is called empirical probability for example if you toss a coin or throw a, a die what outcome comes what you are getting that that is called the actual happening so in that the experimental probability can be given by a formula that is p of e equal to number of outcomes favorable to that experiment e divided by number of all possible outcomes of the experiment then what is the second type yes you are right the second type is theoretical probability what do you mean by this theoretical probability what we expect to happen what we expect to happen in the experiment is theoretical probability see clearly please try to understand once again i'll repeat in the experimental probability or empirical probability what is actually happening only gives that experimental probability whereas in the theoretical probability what we expect to happen in the experiment that is given by the theoretical probability so the theoretical probability also given by the formula that is p of e equal to number of trials in which the event happened divided by total number of trials hence we can define probability has a branch of mathematics that studies the pattern of chance chance means probability so the measure of uncertainty can be found out on the basis of various observations and the collected data okay now children did you know the term probability originated from the latin word which means approval so the term probability in latin word what does it mean it means approval okay now let us recall the common terms related to probability first one is experiment what is called experiment experiment is a situation involving a chance or a probability that leads to some results that results only we normally we call it as outcomes for example if we toss a coin we may get either a head or a tail so this tossing is an experiment and heading head or tail are called outcomes okay so outcomes you can define as a possible result of an experiment okay 
if all outcomes are with equal probability in an experiment then those outcomes are called as equally likely outcomes for this also you can take tossing a coin when you toss a coin you can get either a head or a tail so getting a head and getting a tail these both are equally likely outcomes the because the probability is same for both okay now let me explain few more common terms related to the probability the first one is sample space what do you mean by sample space the set of outcomes in an experiment for example if you throw a die so you may get 1 2 3 4 5 6 so all these are the possible outcomes so this total possible outcomes only make a sample space it is always denoted by capital letter s okay next what do you mean by event one or more outcomes in an experiment is called event next what is a sample point each element in the sample space is called a sample point suppose if you throw a single die this 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 this six outcomes together called a sample space each element in the sample space is called a sample point okay what is the definition of a random experiment normally in probability we often use the term a random experiment so please listen carefully what is called random experiment an experiment is called random experiment if it set satisfies the following two conditions what are those two conditions it has more than one possible outcome the first condition it, it the experiment must have must has more than one possible outcome and the second condition is it is not possible to predict the outcome in advance so the two conditions get fulfilled then that experiment is called random experiment the first one is it must have more than one possible outcome the second condition is it is not possible to predict the outcome in well in advance okay now let us uh, recall what are the types of the events the first one impossible event the empty set is called an impossible event then its probability is zero uh, let me say an example getting a number 8 when you throw a die is it possible when you throw a die a die is a cube it has 6 spaces only so it's possible to get 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 so getting a number 8 or 9 is not impossible so here the prob probability is zero that's it it is called impossible event okay when you throw a die if you want to get a number from 1 to 6 the whole sample space is there so the whole sample space is involved in that so it is called a sure event so the probability of a sure event is 1 next if an event has only one sample point then it is called a simple or a elementary event if an event has one sample point of a sample space then it is called a simple event or an elementary event if an event has more than one sample point then it is called a compound event okay next comes what do you mean by mutually exclusive events if two events cannot occur simultaneously once again i'll repeat if two events cannot occur simultaneously then we call them as mutually exclusive events um we can take this as an example suppose uh, if we throw a die um getting odd numbers take it as event a so getting odd numbers 1 3 or 5 now let us take another event say called b for that getting even numbers so the what are the pass favorable outcomes here it may be 2 4 or 6 so here that two that yeah, event a and b they cannot occur simultaneously so they are called as mutually exclusive events i hope what i have uh, explained in this video are quite useful and you have understood 
थैंक यू